Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day, here in the end times, in paradise at the uh, end of this redded out dirt road in the point lonesome swamp. No, you don't need to be barking at your shadow. And we have stumbled into, I believe it is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021 or somewhere about that and I <clears throat> back on the air did not get yanked down a second time last night so anyway now that I'm uh, looking over the comments to uh, that video last night uh, can't imagine why but the subject of fear fear has uh, reared its ugly head in my brain and uh, you know just trying to figure out uh, the never-ending mystery of the the canyon between the maskers and the anti-maskers trying to get my thumb on the pulse of why this issue more than any other issue I have ever encountered in my life is such a trigger to so many people, including myself. I'm as guilty of being triggered uh, by these masks as, uh, as anybody uh, on either side of the debate. And it just keeps getting back to the fact that the way I perceive this is you either live your life in fear or you don't. This is why 85% of the planet apparently are maskers and 15% of us are anti-maskers. It gets down to fear. You live your life in fear or you don't. If you don't live your life in fear, you don't wear a mask. Uh, it, it, it's pretty much that simple and so I guess my trigger about these masks is I, I get triggered by people who live their lives in fear. Uh, just how they let this, the fear of the boogeyman uh, just completely take control uh, of their lives and they would do things that they would never do otherwise. So I've been thinking about fear. So uh, the name uh, <clears throat> Carlos Castaneda came up in a uh, in an email from one of my mask wearing tribes members today. He and I are both students of Carlos Castaneda. So it started out. I thought I would go hear what Don Juan Matus. Uh, had to say uh, some quotes about fear from Don Juan Matus. I think I'll end up my rant with uh, with Don Juan. But my so I dove into you know looking for quotes about fear from Carlos Castaneda and stumbled upon. Good Lord, uh, the number of quotes about fear from, uh, you know, authors, philosophers, songwriters, uh, the usual gang of suspects. So I'm afraid that this dog is trampling my new tomatoes. I'm living in fear for my baby tomatoes. Get out of here. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to share some of these quotes. I, I completely lost myself and looking at quotes about fear. So I'm going to put my fearless little dog down here and we're going to uh, look at some uh, quotes about fear. And uh, so we will end up with uh, with Carlos Castaneda and Don Juan Matus. But how about let's start out with novelist James Baldwin. <clears throat> Love takes off the masks we fear we cannot live without. <laughs> it 
James Baldwin. I thank you, Brother James. Love takes off the masks we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within. Now, uh, you, you either, <laughs> as soon as you figure out you cannot live within the mask, you will take the mask off of your fearful face. Okay, how about Brother Dan Brown? Only one form of contagion travels faster than a virus, and that is fear. <laughs> Hallelujah. There, there is one thing uh, that uh, will uh, certainly infect, already has infected a hell of a lot more of this planet's population than any virus ever will. Form of contagion. That is exactly what it is. Fear is a contagion. It is a communicable, contagious disease, and the entire planet, well not the entire planet, 85% of the planet has caught the contagion of fear. I have no idea who Aung San Sui Ki is, but what does Aung have to say about the situation? Quote, the only real prison is fear. And the only real freedom is freedom from fear. <clears throat> we knew that Jim Morrison, uh, our late great brother Jim, uh, no, no uh, conversation about fear. Could you imagine Jim Morrison uh, wearing a mask? So what does brother Jim have to say about the situation? <clears throat> Expose yourself. <laughs> Obviously, what other, uh, how else would Jim Morrison start any quote? Expose yourself to your deepest fear. After that, fear has no power, and the fear of freedom shrinks and vanishes. You are free. From Jim Morrison to Nelson Mandela. <clears throat> Take it away, Brother Nelson. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. <clears throat> the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. From Nelson to Brother Marcus Aurelius, it is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. It all Stephen King. F E A R stands for fuck everything and run. From Stephen King to John Steinbeck. <clears throat> Power does not corrupt. Fear corrupts. Yes, anybody who does not consider living your life in a mask, uh, being terrified of, uh, of your fellow human, uh, is not is not a person who has been corrupted. I guess needs to read a little bit more John Steinbeck. Not sure who Meg Cabot is. <clears throat> Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something is more important than fear. The brave may not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. What does uh, poet Ralph Waldo Emerson have to say about the subject? <clears throat> Fear 
always springs from ignorance. <clears throat> and we could not have a, uh, a, a discussion about fear without checking in with Adolf Hitler. What does Brother Adolf have to say about fear? The great strength, the great strength of the totalitarian state is that it forces those who fear it to imitate it. <laughs> yes, can we say the 100-day mask challenge? <clears throat> I have no idea <clears throat> who Marjane Satrapi is. I don't even know if Marjane is, is a female or a male. But take it away, whoever you are, Marjane Satrapi. It is fear that makes us lose our conscience. It is also what transforms us into cowards. When we are afraid, we lose all sense of analysis and reflection. Our fear paralyzes us. Besides, fear has always been the driving force behind all dictators' repression. As Adolf Hitler learned quite well, being not sure who uh, Max Lucado is, <clears throat> but Max is having a thought experiment. Can you imagine a life with no fear? What if faith, not fear, was your default reaction to threats? You know, faith that the universe will, uh, will uh, send you where you need to be. Yes. Alan Moore, whoever you are, authority allows two roles, the torturer and the tortured, twist people into joyless mannequins that fear and hate, while culture plunges into the abyss. Don't forget our good friend Thomas Aquinas. Fear is such a powerful emotion for humans that when we allow it to take us over, it drives compassion right out of our hearts. Can you say the haters these mask Nazi haters, you know, wishing uh, that people who do not live in fear like they do would get the corona panic and die. How about Chief Tecumseh? Live your life that the fear of death, which is what this is all about, Live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. And before we head over to Brother Carlos Castaneda, what does Shirley MacLaine have to say about it? Fear makes strangers of people who would be friends. Any, uh, any anti-masker uh, who has lost friends, uh, their, their panicked sheeple friends living in fear, uh, that, that it's more important to them uh, what their former friends have on this one subject than the friendship that uh, this mask thing, this unbelievable fear uh, that's built into these masks is the number one driving. It's bigger than friendship. 
It is bigger than love. Uh, fear is bigger than love. I forgot who was it, that quote. Uh, the clear, I can't, I, I was one that I forgot the flag. Now I can't remember who said it, that uh, looking at the situation, uh, which, which is the dominant emotion, is it fear or love? Clearly it's fear. Uh, this uh, the, the, the shit going on out there in this planet is proof positive that fear is the dominant human emotion that uh, where people are absolutely terrified uh, of their loved ones you know I am not allowed to go visit my own fucking brother here in uh, Florida, uh, I'm not allowed to visit my own blood sister uh, when I go back to New York. That uh, th this fear, it, 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 this this fear over this, uh, it, I mean, it, it, it's tearing apart families. It, it's tearing apart marriages. Uh, unbelievable how uh, we are handing our humanity over to this fear that, that, that this uh, bogeyman uh, has turned us in, in, into the biggest bunch of little sniveling cowards that, that we turn our back uh, on, on the, 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 it's the fear as Shirley says. It uh, makes strangers, if not downright enemies, uh, out of people who would be and should be our friends. <clears throat> but let's just listen to Don Juan Matus, or Carlos Castaneda, as the case may be. <clears throat> a warrior is not a leaf at the mercy of the wind. No one can push him. No one can make him do things against himself or against his better judgment. Uh, I, I, again, you know how anyone who calls themselves a, a warrior, uh, any follower uh, of Carlos Castaneda. Can you imagine uh, what Don Juan Matus w w would be saying uh, about this? Anybody uh, who claims they are on the warrior path uh, wearing one of these masks, you need to go back and read your Carlos Castaneda. <clears throat> Our meaning warriors, fellow men are black magicians, and whoever is with them is a black magician on the spot. Think for a moment. Can you deviate from the path your fellow men have lined up for you? And if you remain with them, your thoughts and your actions are fixed forever in their terms. That is slavery. The warrior, on the other hand, is free from all that. Freedom is expensive, yes, but the price is not impossible to pay. So fear your captors, your masters. Do not waste your time and your power fearing freedom. <clears throat> and of course, uh, I've mentioned many times about Don Juan teaching you to use your death as your advisor. So we're going to wrap up with uh, this quote from Don Juan. <clears throat> the worst that could happen to us is that we have to die. And since that is already our unalterable fate. We are free. Those who have lost everything no longer have anything.
to fear. There you go. Anyway, uh, there were a bunch more, but those were those were the kind, the ones that rose to the top. So uh, anyway, amen, brothers and sisters. Uh, I wonder if anybody in that list that I just read would uh, would wear a mask. Out of that, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to picture that group of my heroes. Not that Adolf Hitler is uh, is one of my heroes, of course, but uh, would Adolf Hitler have put on a mask to? Uh, <laughs> oh boy, that's hard. That's a hard one to call. That I'm afraid Shirley MacLaine might have. Anyway, guys, I gotta wrap this up and uh, figure out what I'm gonna go over there and rant about at Collapse Chronicles, since I sure as hell can't rant about the C word over there or the F word. Cannot rant about that four letter F word over there at Collapse Chronicles, so I'll think of something to rant about over there. Probably something to do with the Green New Deal. Get out there and uh, enjoy your freedom from fear while you still can. Bye guys.